And then there were sports. Yes. There was no end to sports. No. I, I don't know why it was. I suppose it's because of, uh, there was, well, there's no television, obviously, except looking at that picture up in George Dawes' <laughs> store that when it came out first and all you did was look at that, that video, whatever it was, of yes. one picture. Uh, that was our introduction to television. But you didn't have a lot to do. So uh, in terms of sports, it took you over into a totally new area. Competition was still great. Yeah. I can't believe how we fought uh, playing hockey in particular. Right. I mean, if, if Ship Cove beat the harbour or harbour beat the crowd from Hibs Cove, well, it was almost a parade, right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, the, the part that I remember distinctly in hockey was that every piece of ice available on the peninsula was occupied whenever the weather was fine and the ice was good. Yeah. Whether it was Tucker's match or Krause's match, or the one in Blow Me Down, or the one behind Alf Andrews up on the hill, right. Dawes yeah. match. Yeah. But when we all got really sophisticated, it was all the teams playing on Chipko Pond at the same time, different Jeez. parts of the pond. Oh, there you go. But it was, I mean, the competition between the communities yeah. was still boy, pretty rigorous. And I'll oh. tell you, buddy, you had to win. Yeah. You had to get in there. And one of the parts that I didn't like too much is going up to Harbour to play. And I remember this one back then, uh, most people wouldn't know what I'm talking about, but Prowse's match. Yeah. Uh, Tucker's match was big enough that the big fellas could play hockey on Tucker's match. Okay. Yes. Oh yeah, that was a big spot. That's right. And we were there as young fellas when they weren't there. Yeah. The minute the older crowd arrived, they said, "Okay, guys, move on." <laughs> and we'd have to go down to the little house, uh, the little marsh just beyond Tucker's, called Prowse's match. Oh, very. And cool. that's where we played. Yeah. The other thing that we played an awful lot of, and the place is vivid in my mind, is. Uh, football or soccer, whatever you want to call it. Is that right? Up behind the Anglican Rectory, where it now is, yeah. and behind Billy Chris's house, yes. and Bertha, yeah. and then all that level field in there, we tore that to pieces every year. They yeah. didn't even, couldn't get a bit of grass off that. No. Because we were continuously into soccer back then. And we, we when we were growing, growing up, we used to play baseball. Well, yeah. there you are. Yeah. yeah. That was a modern sport. That was <laughs> Yeah, our, we, played, our, we didn't play soccer and, and football, we played baseball. No. Well, we played cat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, and uh, there was a 40 grade hockey team that competed oh, my dear. with other... Oh, that was, that was the ultimate. Yeah. I can remember now, uh, uh, it was the Port of Grave Maple Leafs, obviously. Oh, it was And even Leafs. though I was as red a Detroit Red Wing as you yeah. could possibly get, <laughs> but it was the Maple Leafs. And we were primarily in the intermediate league back in the 50s. Right. Playing the crowd from anywhere from Victoria, Butlerville, Bay Roberts, Brigastu, from that geography. And I mean, all I can, uh, I can remember a lot of it, and I've written a little bit about it, but uh, the intermediate hockey league, I can, I can remember now, Aunt Kitty Daw had a typewriter. Is that right? Yes. <laughs> and somehow she got the... The Tronda, the Portagrave Maple Leafs printed on some flyers to go in your uh, oh, yeah. in your lapel. Oh. And Aunt, uh, Aunt Della Andrews put yeah. them together after Aunt Kitty, I think, provided the, the typing. Yes. And so you had the colors of the, of the team. Oh, yeah. And, yeah. and uh, the other thing I remember is coming home after you've had some good years and some good uh, results and the Anglican ladies having the big spread up at the Orange Hall to Is celebrate right? the crowd coming back. <laughs> so where, where did you go to play hockey at we, that time? In my time, we primarily played at, uh, at Harbour Grace. There was just at, the, the new one, but yeah. uh, we yes, played a little yeah. bit in Bay Roberts. Yeah. And of course, uh, uh, the, the hockey in and of itself was, uh, was almost a history book because mm -hmm. When we went, you just didn't go as a team. There was bus and truckloads oh, yes. of people, right, supporting you. Yeah. And uh, a few rackets down at Harbour Grace. <laughs> the, the crowd that used to fight the most was Portergrave and Butlerville, Portergrave and Victoria, and Portergrave and Island Cove. Oh, very good. And uh, oh, it, they had to shut down the stadium a couple of times oh. and clear it out <laughs> because the, the fight er erupted in the stands. Oh, that's it. <laughs> Yeah, very good. Yeah, yeah. So, anything else on sports that you'd like to touch on, or? Uh, no, I think I think that would uh, that would be good for now. Uh, yeah. There's, you know, like I said, uh, the things that we used to do, bazing. Yeah. Bazing was big. Oh yes. Man, yeah. we wherever there was a good uh, side of the school or something. Yeah. And then we had those big pennies. Yes. And the 
two penny things. Oh yeah. And bashing was a big. Oh yeah, the boys were into. So that. what did you what did you use? I used to do that with marbles. No, we did it with pennies. Oh, with pennies. Yeah, oh. throwing them at the wall. Oh yeah. And then the next one throws, and if he can go close enough to span with his fingers, he yeah. gets your penny. Oh. Oh man, that was uh, I forgot about that as a money maker. <laughs> <laughs> Gambling we were back then. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> well, Raymond, that's really interesting information today. Yes. And I want to thank you. And uh, we'll chat again. You're good. <laughs>